Hello to you my dear friend, it's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here coming to you with another video that will bless and touch and change your life forever. It's so good to be with you today on another day that the Lord has given us by His grace and by that same grace we keep on going. My dear friend, I tell you, God is amazing and He's going to do amazing things. My dear friend, the best is yet to come for your life. God is about to do amazing things. It's another day and it's another day that we get to live to the fullest and even as we live to the fullest, my dear friend, as we purpose in our minds that we're going to live to the fullest, we need to understand and know that God is not done with us. Those plans never end, my dear friend. They go from glory to glory. They go from level to level. Even as you keep on going and you achieve what God wants you to do, you will go to another glory and God will bless you. Today I want to talk to you about being ready to share the gospel at any time and not being ashamed of it. My dear friend, it's so essential that we are not ashamed of the gospel. It's so essential that we as born again believers operate in what God has called us to do. And furthermore, over and above that, my dear friend, we need to be in a place where we are freely able to share the gospel with people around us. Without any further delay, my dear friend, let's get into the topic for today. Today we're going to be talking about being ready to share the gospel at all times and not being ashamed of the gospel. It's so essential that us as born again believers are ready and willing to share the gospel at all times. My dear friend, you carry in you what the world needs to change. You carry the Holy Spirit of God in you. You carry the real presence of God in you. The fact that you carry the presence of God in you means you are not the same as those who are in the world. And there is a duty that has been placed on you. Wherever you go, whatever you say, whatever you do, one of the major duties that you have as a born-again believer is to share the gospel with those people around you. You need to tell them about what Jesus has done for you. It's so essential that we do this. God is counting on us to share the gospel with those who haven't heard. You need to share the gospel. Be bold and courageous. Never be ashamed of the gospel. Share the gospel with those people around you. The Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 1 verse 15 and 16 in the Amplified Version, it says, So for my part, I am ready and eager to preach the gospel also to you who are in Rome. Verse 16, I am not ashamed of the gospel for it is the power of God for salvation from his wrath and punishment to everyone who believes in Christ as Savior, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. My dear friend, I want to take it bit by bit. So we're going to start again in the scripture and I'm going to break it down. Now from verse 15, it says, So for my part, I am ready and eager to preach the gospel to you also who are in Rome. My dear friend, there's something that we can learn from Apostle Paul over here in verse 15. What we can learn from him is he was always eager and ready to share the gospel. My dear friend, wherever you are, wherever you go, be eager and be ready to share the gospel. You as a child of God are dangerous to the kingdom of darkness. You carry what it takes in order for people to be saved. You carry what it takes in order for people to come to Christ. You carry what it takes in order to lead those people around you back to God. And it's your duty, my dear friend. God is counting on you. It's not only my duty as the evangelist, it's your duty too. Wherever you are, it's your duty to share the gospel. So you should be willing and you should be ready and you should be eager to share the gospel. Be ready to share the gospel everywhere that you go. And now, my dear friend, some people may not respond to the gospel the way that you want it to. Don't let this discourage you. Always be eager, always be ready, no matter who receives the gospel or who doesn't. So you as a born-again believer should be ready and eager to share the gospel at all times. Another thing that we can learn is from verse 16. It goes on to say, I am not ashamed of the gospel for it is the power of God for the salvation from his wrath and punishment to everyone who believes in Christ as Savior, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Now, another thing that we learn here, my dear friend, is we should never be ashamed. Never be ashamed of Jesus. Never be ashamed to talk about Jesus. Never be ashamed to share the gospel, the good news. Never be ashamed to speak about the grace of our Lord. Never be ashamed to speak of your Father who is in heaven. Father God Almighty, never be ashamed to speak of Him. Share and talk about Him all the time, my dear friend. My dear friend, as we are not ashamed of Christ, Christ will not be ashamed of us. In the Bible, it actually says, if you are ashamed of me in front of men, I will be ashamed of you in front of the Father. So, my dear friend, we should be so willing and obedient and courageous. We should be willing to go out to the gospel and we should not be ashamed of it. Don't be afraid, my dear friend. In the world, they make it look like this is make-believe or this is not real or this is not true. But you have had a genuine encounter with God. You've given your life to Jesus. 
So it doesn't matter what they may say or what they may believe. They're looking at it from another realm. They're looking at God from the fleshly realm which says there is no God. But the spiritual realm proves that there is a God. The spiritual realm proves that Christ is real. And you are moving not from the fleshly realm but from the spiritual realm. So you should operate from a realm where you say that Jesus Christ is Lord and you are not ashamed of Him. My dear friend, the third thing that I want to share with you is the gospel carries power for salvation. There is a power that is released as you share about Jesus. This power is released when anybody speaks about Jesus. And this is the power of salvation. This power results in what we call the miracle of salvation. As we share about Jesus, we don't even need to preach. We just need to share of what he's done for us. As we share about Jesus, the power of salvation is released. And this power releases and enables the miracle of salvation to take place. And what happens is wherever this power goes, you find that people get saved everywhere that it goes. As you share about Jesus, the power of salvation will be released and you will see people around you, your friends, your family, people around you becoming born again, becoming saved. You'll see them changing. You'll see lives changing. You'll see God use you as his instrument in your area, my dear friend, in the area where you dwell. Never be ashamed of the gospel, my dear friend, and always be eager to share. Now, I want to pray for you so that you'll be bold and you'll share the gospel wherever you go. My dear friend, I want to tell you something. For some of you who would listen to this video, you are called to business. For some of you who would listen to this video, you're called to work a certain job. For some of you who would listen to this video, you're called to work in the community, to do community outreach and community help. And some who would watch this video are called to ministry. Whatever area we are called in, my dear friend, we are all held accountable for the times when we could have shared the gospel, but we didn't. It's so essential that we share the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. So from today onwards, my dear friend, I'm going to pray for you and you're going to receive the divine boldness, my dear friend, the divine ability to share the gospel everywhere that you go. Be it in your business, be it in your job, be it in your workplace, be it in the community, be it in uh, your community outreach, wherever it is, my dear friend. Even if it's among your family, even if it's among your children, even if it's among people around you, your friends that you've known for your whole lifetime, you will be bold and courageous and you will be able to share the gospel. But in saying that, my dear friend, let's go into a time of prayer. Take your cell phone and your device. Just go somewhere private where you can pray, where you can seek God, where nobody will disturb you. And even as you go there, my dear friend, begin to lift up praises to God. As the praises go up, the blessings of God will come down and God will touch and change your life forever. Father, you are worthy of all praise. You are worthy of all honor. You are worthy of all glory. You are worthy, Lord, to be lifted up. Lord, today, even as both myself and my dear friend are praising you and seeking you and praying to you, Lord, we give you all the praise and we welcome you in this place. Come, O oh Lord, come in this place and take over control. Come in the place where my dear friend is watching and touch and change my dear friend's life for the better. Change my dear friend's life even as we pray today. Lord, I pray that you will release a holy boldness over my dear friend, that my dear friend will be able to share the gospel far and wide that my dear friend will be able to share the gospel in the community and amongst their friends and family around them, that they will share and not be ashamed of you. Lord, I thank you, Lord, that we see things not from the fleshly viewpoint, but from the spiritual viewpoint. Therefore, to those who are in the world, those who are in the flesh, it may look like foolishness to them. It may look like foolishness to the carnal mind, but to those who are in the spirit, those who are in the spirit know the truth. They know the real deal. And I thank you for this, Lord. I give you praise for it. I give you praise, Lord. We just lift up your name. Both myself and my dear friend, we lift up your name. We lift up the name of Jesus. Be lifted up in this place. Be lifted up in this studio where I'm recording right now. And be lifted up in the place where my dear friend is watching. Lord, take my dear friend up to a greater glory, Lord, even as we seek you today. I ask this in Jesus' mighty name and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen and amen. Now, my dear friend, God is amazing. As we pray today and you believe, you shall receive. God shall give you a holy boldness that you will share to everyone around you. God will use you as an instrument in that place where you find yourself. Be it in your workplace, be it in your business, be it in a community outreach that you might be doing. Maybe you work in the government, be it in the government. God is going to use you as an instrument and he'll use you to lead many to him. Because for all of us born again believers, it is our duty to share about the Lord. As born again believers, we must share about Jesus. Share the gospel far and wide. Share the gospel with your family and your friends. 
and you will be blessed, my dear friend. But in saying that, we're going to begin to pray. As we go into a time of prayer, I want to encourage you to do two simple things. The first thing that I want you to do is lift up both your hands. Lift up your hands high and say this. Say, Lord Holy Spirit, come and touch me, Holy Spirit. Come and change my life. As I seek you, Lord, today with Evangelist Gabriel, as I seek Jesus, give me a holy boldness, Holy Spirit, and open up your word to me so that I can share your word to all the people around me in my community and to people around me. Lord, use me as your instrument in this community, in this place where I stay. I pray this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, the second thing that I want to encourage you to do is comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement and even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you mightily. But in saying that, let's begin to pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, I pray for my dear friend who's watching this video. Lord, I pray that you will bless and change my dear friend's life. Take my dear friend who's watching this video to another level. Give my dear friend the grace to share the gospel wherever they go. Give my dear friend the divine ability to share the gospel wherever my dear friend goes. I pray this in Jesus' mighty name. And I thank you for it, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for the grace, Lord. The grace to share. The grace so that whenever my dear friend shares, the power of salvation will be released and the miracle of salvation will begin happening. Lord, even as my dear friend is eager, bold and courageous and going out there to share about you, Lord, wherever they are, be it in business, be it in their job, in the workplace, in, in the community, in, in the government sector, wherever they find themselves, wherever my dear friend, your son, your daughter finds themselves. Lord, I pray even as they are willing and obedient and courageous to do this, to share about you, bless them mightily. Bless them going in and coming out, Lord. Wherever my dear friend goes, let my dear friend be blessed. Let favor follow my dear friend everywhere that my dear friend goes, even as my dear friend shares about you. Because Lord, we're not in the business of building our own kingdom. We are in the business of building the kingdom of Jesus. Take my dear friend to greater glories. Take my dear friend to places that my dear friend never thought they would go. I pray this in Jesus' name. And Lord, now I pray for my dear friend. If my dear friend needs a miracle in their body, a miracle in their life, a miracle anywhere in their life with regard to whatever it might be, Lord, I pray that you will intervene divinely. And Lord, if whatever my dear friend is asking you for, Lord, if it's in line with the word, Lord, I pray that you will do it. Do it for the glory of King Jesus. I ask this in Jesus' mighty name and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, our Lord is gracious and is merciful. As you go forward from here on, I want to speak a blessing over you. And even as I speak this blessing over you, the power will be released. This video will be a point of contact that you can receive the power of God and the divine ability to share the gospel wherever you go. Now, I speak this blessing over you right now. You are blessed and you cannot be cursed. Wherever you go, may you have a holy boldness and may you be eager to share the gospel. May you lead many people around you and all those people in your community. May you lead them to Jesus. May God use you as his instrument in that community in the mighty name of Jesus. May God use you for his glory. May God take you places in the name of Jesus. May you see the great things of God. May God use you as an instrument of relief in the community and the place around you. Wherever you find yourself, be it in business, be it in your workplace, be it in community outreach, be it in government sector. Wherever you are, my dear friend, even if I haven't mentioned it, Wherever you find yourself, may God use you as an instrument in the name of Jesus. I release this blessing over you. And I release a blessing over you that you shall not lack anything. You shall be supplied for in everything that you do. May you have jobs and better jobs. May you have a nice car that won't break down on you. A nice car that you can drive and go far. A nice car that you can take vacations and driving trips with your family. May you be blessed. May you have a nice house. May God give you all the things that you desire. May He give you the desires of your heart even as you set him as number one in the name of Jesus, in Jesus mighty name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, it's a done deal. As I've spoken this blessing over you and prayed with you, my dear friend, you are going up and there's no question about it. You are going up whether the devil likes it or not. And God is going to use you as his instrument in the place where you find yourself. So don't hold back, my dear friend. Share about Jesus and you will be blessed. From myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, I'll see you again tomorrow for another video that will bless and change your life forever. Until then, Shalom and goodbye. If you were blessed by this video and you'd like to give a seed, feel free to do so using any one of the secured links provided in the description. 
If you would like to partner with us to support the work of the Gospel on a monthly basis, then you can do so via Patreon. The link for Patreon as well as other information is also provided in the description. Other than that, my friend, God bless you, God keep you, God make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Until we meet again next time, Shalom and Goodbye.